store up the shit. And that is the same situation with external shocks, and this is consistent with the African e economies. Again, we went through the motion with a uh, special parliamentary committee on that, and we dissolved the matter that actually this was the preference. That is why, Mr. Chairman, I mentioned that I had issues with saying how do we create buffers that help us to mitigate short-term shocks. And um, the, the whole issue, uh, then the, 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 the whole issue of uh, Imperial Bank and my wife going to Thailand, this is a paid service. It was an agent of uh, that, uh, that, that company that was giving those uh, uh, the, the services, and it was Did paid. Did you hear what he asked? Yes. He said, or rather he alleged, that in certain proceedings, the former owner of Imperial Bank alleged that he paid for an expensive holiday for your family. When you learned of it, you cut short the holiday, came back and collapsed the bank. That's what he alleged. Yes. And that that's what you should mm. respond to. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. The bank collapsed in, 19, in two, uh, 2017 and I was not governor then and I was even away from the country, I was working from uh, outside the country. So it, it did not collapse in uh, when I was a governor. Thank you, Chairman. Yes, yeah, just to, the, for your indulgence, Chair. You see, uh, two issues, Chair. The issue of the shilling that I raised, it is true that uh, the scenario looks like now, but uh, Chair, just as a supplementary question, the shilling now is stuck at that level. By that time, a committee of parliament was formed, and I suspect you were in parliament by then. Then after the investigation of parliament ended in a month or a month and a half, the shilling came back from 100 and 